to some other vendors, custom built. And this is the app. The fastest quote monitor you'll ever see on the internet. There's no nothing like this out there, but this is free. I made it for the people, for free. That's what I do. You get professional Wall Street tools for free. What a deal. You guys are looking at a sneak peek. I don't have any projects, I have companies. Uh, I don't do projects. Project is a word for people who have commitment issues. Uh, I went to school, uh, I've been programming since I was a little kid, so. I'm making this software, it's called Godel or Godel. And so my job is to provide data and fundamentals and news and stuff like that. And I just always am debugging and making sure the product works. So even if, I'm, if I don't use the product, that doesn't mean that I don't care that the product uh, doesn't work. Code for pushing to production, or pipeline for pushing to production. We have an elaborate CI CD setup, but I just pushed a master because, you know, that's what I do. Well, the M cycle only does one or two things. Godel does everything. Godel's a lot closer to Bloomberg than virtually anyone, I would say. The thing about financial software is that nobody knows financial software quite like Shkreli. At the end of the day, that's really what I'm saying. All right? At the end of the day, I'm that guy. Who knows it better than Shkrells? You all want to make financial software, but you don't even do finance. What companies have you bought? What companies do you take public? You feel me? And Mike Bloomberg's been retired. He's out the game 30, 40 years. It's Shkreli's turn. Bloomberg's too rich, man. And nobody that works for him, they really, they're not really, you know, financial people. They're media people. They don't get it. You need to be a trader to understand this game. Bloomberg, I could deal with on, on the respect level, you know? Always like Bloomberg. It hasn't been updated in decades. A fact set, that's another one I respect. Publicly traded company, good company. Don't make old Shkreli come back, man. You're gonna make old Shkreli come back. All you gotta do to make old Shkreli come back and say is Bloomberg is better than you. They don't know how to make great financial software. You don't know how to make great financial software. They do. Say what? You get it straight from the exchanges. That's what we do. Look, straight from the exchanges. Yeah, buying, that's what, that's called a business. Buying data from exchanges is what you gotta do. It's called business, business 101. Business has costs. You don't wanna be in business, don't pay the costs. Oh man, Bloomberg can't be replaced, that sucks. Rip, I guess you gotta tell TradingView to, to give up. Sorry, random guy says Bloomberg can't be replaced. Shut your business down, TradingView, it's worth nothing. Forget that round you did at three billion and your 100% revenue growth, it's over. The guy on the internet says it can't be done. A software company cannot be competed with. When has a software company ever been unable to be competed with? Ever. The whole point of software is that you can quickly compete with it. TradingView is good, man. TradingView is, is the new Bloomberg. Three billion valuation. It actually has more traffic than, um, it's got more traffic than uh, Yahoo Finance. Isn't that amazing? However they get their users, they're 400 million visitors in Q3, 100 million view visitors a month. Holy, look Look at these other wannabes. Oh wow, India is the biggest country, that's crazy. Number three in investing. A lot of these are Indian, I think, because, yeah, it just has like an Indian, these are all Indian financial sites. TradingView, investing, CoinMarketCap, Fidelity, Binance, Yahoo Finance, number 12. They're number one in the U.S., I think. So let me see if I can switch this to U.S. Fidelity is number one in the U.S., I guess. Schwab, E-Trade, Finviz. Finviz is doing pretty well. Trading is good because it has a subscription revenue model. Fidelity is weird because it's investing, but it's, it's not exactly market research, right? Not the best charts here over at Fidelity. You can actually download this, uh, this program I wrote. It's called Stocks. It's on my GitHub. And it just... Uh, basically will uh, create a real-time quote monitor for your terminal. It's not uh, anything too special, but it's kind of a funky, funky little app we wrote. So app two is a financial application. Um, it was originally called Godel. So I worked on this app uh, five or six years ago. It's a, um, a competitor to a company called Bloomberg. So basically it's, it's a CLI, uh, a command line uh, interpreter. So it's, it's Bloomberg, if you haven't used it, it's a very expensive piece of software. It's $25,000 a year and the price is actually going up. It'll be more expensive than that soon. And it's sort of the standard for, for financial um, investors, if you can afford it. About 400,000 people use the Bloomberg, 
pretty much anybody who's anybody on Wall Street has a, a license to it. But it hasn't really changed a lot in the last 5, 10, even 20 years. I've been a Bloomberg customer since I was a kid. And uh, I basically started to create this, this app called Goodell before uh, I went to prison. So now that I'm out of prison, what's amazing about Goodell is that it's still a best-in-class product in my view. And uh, there's a free tier uh, of Goodell, which basically gives you access to what I believe is you know, a substantial part of the Bloomberg for totally for free and on a web on a web tool. So you just go to Godel's website and you can use a Bloomberg tool basically for free. Now, uh, we do have a payment model um, and it's sort of a different payment model than Bloomberg. Bloomberg has this weird all you can eat model where you pay one price, which like I said, is around two, two or $3,000 a month and you get all the services, whether you use it or not. So a person that's just using Bloomberg for messaging, and I know a lot of people that that's all they do, still pays the same price as a person that's running their entire hedge fund on Bloomberg. And to me, that's a really wild sort of dichotomy. Our model is more of an AWS model where there's a free tier. Uh, if you use this service a lot, you get a big bill. If you don't use the service much, you get a small bill and you can use the service pretty liberally for free. So if you use really advanced features like quantitative uh, features or bond uh, research or something like that, the you know you will get a bill similar to the Bloomberg bill. But if you're just looking at stock prices and, and fiddling around and you're sort of a, a amateur investor, I think that you should be able to get a tool like this for free. And so that's sort of our vision. So in any event, I'm restarting the development of that app. Um, we should have a, a beta open relatively soon. Uh, there is an alpha sort of site up right now. Um, I've been hacking away at it uh, with some of my colleagues over the last few weeks. Uh, if you've been wondering where I was, uh, that's basically what I've been up to. Um, so for MSI, I think the, the, the application is the same. If you, want to, if you have a $1,000 or $500 or $20 bill, on Godel, you can pay with using MSI and get a steep discount. If you create content for MSI, and I think that's a big part of, of what Bloomberg is missing is a social media sort of aspect. We don't want to Facebook turn sort of Bloomberg into Facebook. I think that would be a mistake. But I do think that a big part of why Wall Street Bets, for example, was successful or uh, other parts of sort of FinTwit and things like that is that people do want to create um, content for financial markets. I should say financial markets are full of people who are offering opinions and creating content, whether they're charts or other forms of, of content, including subscription-based models and stuff like that. So being, if you create content on Twitter, you don't get paid anything. And I could see a, a vision where you know you could create content for uh, on, on Godel and, and get MSI tokens as a result. You could also pay MSI tokens to, to get content. So uh, again, the primary goal here would be that you can pay your bill uh, for, the, for the tool with uh, MSI. So in any event, I think this will be a really important app. I think you guys know that I know financial uh, markets really well. <laughs> I know financial software really well. This is my world. So for me to, to unleash a competitor at Bloomberg is a really big moment. Um, I do think it'll take years uh, to effectively compete with Bloomberg. It's not a company that is easy to compete with. They've been around a really long time. I think a lot of the mistakes that other companies have made trying to compete with Bloomberg is that they don't match the CLI. I'm specifically focused on uh, replicating in a lot of ways the CLI nature of Bloomberg. And so we've done that with sort of the synthetic CLI based you know, on the web. So I think that that CLI tool allows uh, any user to really learn it quickly. It's sort of a light CLI. It's not like Linux. It's a, it's a much friendlier command line. And so I think that, you know, uh, you, you know, that's basically sort of the, the key. I think there are a lot of competitors trying to do uh, web apps for financial information, but that's not, you know, what people want. People on Wall Street want productivity and they want to climb up the curve really quickly. And if you look at the other competitors out there in financial apps, they're really bad because they're not built by people who, are, who have been traders or investors. They don't understand the importance. I was on a rival site the other day and they had literally no news function whatsoever. News is, for example, one of the most pivotal and important pieces for any financial investor. So I understand this space better than anyone. Um, I understand it better than people at Bloomberg. Uh, Michael Bloomberg was a trader a long time ago. And so it made sense for him to build Bloomberg. For me, it makes a lot of sense to build an app that I would use myself uh, uh, to trade or invest with. So I hope you follow me on the Godel journey. I'll be talking a lot about it. I'll be using the software. And again, I'll be ready to sort of show it to you in hopefully a week or two. All right, I'm going to try my app here called Drug Like. Um, if you guys haven't tried this yet, it's, uh, well, it's really for professional chemists, but <laughs> you can still play around with it if you're not a chemist or something like that. Uh, I'm going to see if I can launch this virtual screen real quick.
just pushed an update. Um, this will be really interesting if this works. Let me try it out. Oh wow, it's worked right away, cool. So it used to work in a really slow way. Um, not slow, but like it, it didn't launch right off the rep. And now it launches right away, which is really cool. This is making use of WebAssembly, if you guys don't know that technology. Now I just wanna add like um, some visualizations that actually shows you each calculation you can click to see each calculation. But it would be even cooler if you could, um, if they just, as they came streaming in, you can see we started with a few compounds. Now we did 100. I think it's going to pause at 100 because the cloud engine's kicking in now. So um, that's, the, that's what we sort of solved for, is that it takes a little while for the cloud engine to kick in, given the very complex engineering that has to happen here. So we're doing web workers in WebAssembly for the first hundred. I think we should extend that a little bit longer. But anyway, that's a really cool update. I'm really happy to see that. Yeah, I'm guessing it should be kind of almost run in parallel or maybe the first several hundred should run on the desktop. It's amazing how fast that went for desktop. Um, on the cloud, we use like hundreds of desktops at once. Interesting, very cool. Uh, Drug-like solves the problem of uh, in silico uh, computational chemistry and ligand docking uh, free energy calculations with a web program that's never been done before. And it's also cloud connected, which has never been done before. So pretty big um, tool set there. You know, and we'll be expanding that um, as time comes to include lots of different simulation types, including molecular dynamics and pharmacokinetics and other things. I do take investments. That's right, IP. You can. Email me if you're so interested. It's martin at martinscrelly.com.